Oh no. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly uh, next to it. Oh, should, who should this be? <laughs> what voice is this? <gasps> should this be the sophisticated voice? <laughs> oh no, let's go. <laughs> Do it. Oops. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bring it in character! I think it's broken. Oops, I poked it. <laughs> you reach forward and easily pull the door open. Aw, oh, that should do the trick. I love you. I love you. I think you mean thank you? My name is Bob. I was named after my papa. <laughs> Can someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be—he must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Pong Pong the Pog, the Fourth. So, are you gonna make me hold this door all day? No, sir. No. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Uh, is it just me or is he kind of cute? Miram, please. I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Okay. Oh yes, we have the chicken on the chalkboard along with the geometric geometry and math and some random picture of a random guy and then a world map. This type of stuff here. <laughs> just the, the usual stuff. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. The other students wander and keep to themselves, keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Uh, a scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium in front of the class. Adorable. What? No, oh, you. Wow. No, no. Quiet down, everyone. The sprinkles. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be sprinkles. Head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Or UCSAL. I don't know. You put it together. Oh, please call me Professor Dirk. I may be cute, a little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof, woof! Woof, 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 woof! said, uh, you can read oh. his lines as wolf. But yes, he's... wolf, wolf, wolf. Very interesting. What? A cute dog is a professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Oh no. This is his day job when he's not, you know, fighting crime. Yes. As a ninja. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. The trees are green outside. It could be cherry blossom trees. I'm chilly, darling. Can someone close the window? And then... He... Walks in. Chat. He walks <gasps> in. He! Oh, he's... He's hell! He's a he, heartthrob. And like, do, do you need... Do you have your waters? Do you, are you... Are you all alive? I don't have to go on them, but like... If it becomes a little bit too much... Perfect. Have both my love experts hydrated? Yes. We're beautifully hydrated. Wonderful. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> oh no. It's cause I walked in! You immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him. It's... I feel like she's gonna faint. Beautiful words. Colonel Sanders and Ruff Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. But hurry, you can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. The applause. Sanders. We need the applause. Sanders. Oh, 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 oh
I gotta turn it. I gotta turn it on. Oh, oh, we, oh, we oh God! I, I, I pressed the boo. Professionalism. Professional. We're professionals here. We're clearly professional. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And over here, I'm up here. Wait. Okay. Maybe we. Oh wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Get the get, 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 get professional. Maybe we should open that window back up. Before faucet tip and melts into a puddle, and evaporates entirely. Okay, that voice actually vaguely reminds me of Donald Trump's voice. I just- Oh no! Oh, we're trying to avoid this! I have an actual Donald Trump voice, I want to avoid that as much as possible. It sounds like vaguely like- political. Why is the belt so big? I don't know. I'm gonna go trick that voice a little bit. <laughs> Hold on, just a second! No one talks to my friend like that! You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with your all your really weird insults? Besides, when Pong Pong the Pog sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer! <laughs> you forgot the force, but thank you. Oh, well, you know, these things happen. You turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. Colonel Sanders, the beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. <clears throat> Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Please, use my handkerchief. You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Oh my god! Okay, everyone, take a break! Get your water! <laughs> everyone, calm down! <laughs> okay, is Chad all like, are you all calmed down from seeing. Uh, is is Chad okay? okay? Chad, are you okay? Chad, are you okay? Chad, are you okay? Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? Okay, should we take the handkerchief or should we refuse it? Are you going to refuse the offerings of Colonel Sanders? Are you going to refuse the offerings? Okay, I'm going to off my desk. I shouldn't be thinking. Are you refusing the offerings of Colonel Sanders? Are you are you refusing? Never disagree with Colonel Sanders. It's a great point. There we go. It's a great point. We're taking the handkerchief. You stretch out your hand, and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk uh, handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful, you hesitate to press it to your face. When you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has its natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Beautiful. So real. Beautiful speech. Amazing. Brings you to tears. Interesting. Nice. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. <gasps> that looks like Dan! What's up, Epic Gamer Gang? Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I, I really miss... Here in the school with you as my teacher. Okay, which voice do you want? Do you want the gamer voice or do you want the toad voice for the student? Oh, the toad voice should definitely have a. Uh, 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 we, we we should have a singing competition. 
We should all sing. Wheels on the bus go round and round, Ooh. round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. We're in the Epic Gamer one now. Okay. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... Oh, the dog, doggo is angry. Very angry. <laughs> You're trying to see the student in the sprinkles referring. He appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, you lift, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. Oh no, he's gonna smell your pits. Oh no! <laughs> he smells the sweat! He knows! <laughs> You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. Try you decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what what kind? Okay, chat, this is a very important decision. We need a poll for this. A very We're important poll. AFC. What? You know, Kentucky Fried Chicken dating simulator, right? Yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken! I wonder which one they want you to choose. Well, we need a poll for it regardless, because it, it could be very tied, you know. But we're a it democracy, as you as you clearly know, we're clearly a democracy here. Someone call KFC and do that, please. <laughs> I would be very happy. Like, hey, can I have a hamburger and some fries and like... You know, extra pickles, maybe. You know, like that kind of stuff, you know. No herbs and spices, though, just, just nothing on it. Literally nothing on it. Oh, the chicken, chicken has the chicken has spoken. Yeah, the chicken has spoken. Chicken has spoken. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken smack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Hey. <laughs> As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Oh no, we have to choose. Uh, hey, Pong Pong the Pong the Pong! They're still here for you. Seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me. If you're interested, then. <laughs> oh no. With the cool kids. Oh, we need a poll for this chat. Oh, another poll. Here we go. Now oh. this is this is poll worthy chat. This is poll worthy. Two good options, really but what will you choose? Boy. Where we're going, chat? Colonel Sanders or best friend? You you move to take your seat next to Miriam. I'm so glad I have you to support me through this class. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? Colonel Sanders, he has such a magnetic personality. There's a seat over right next to him. You and Santa, you might have gotten to know him a little better. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Wink, the wink. game is hinting. Wink, wink. You have made the wrong decision choosing me. I'd never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. I've got three whole days. That's like a lifetime. So you say, but now that Mir mentions it, that Carl Sanders is just so darn dreamy. Hey, Raider, are you okay? As soon as you settle in your seat, the professor makes an announcement. I'm back! I'm back! Oh no, not a pop quiz. Oh no. Oh, pop quiz about me. The hottest guy in school. Oh no. We didn't study. We didn't study! Chad, we didn't study! Oh no. Yeah, there's a test at the end of the stream too, by the way. 
In case you didn't know, there's a test at the end. So you better- have you guys been taking notes? You're supposed to have been taking notes this whole time. Have you been taking notes, chat? Chat, have you been taking notes? I'd be notes? very disappointed if you haven't. Okay, question one, chat. You ready? You ready? Question one. Okay. So, meh depends. Extremely, looking at you, Pop. Or doesn't matter at all. Is it A, 7, or, or 3? Is it B, triangle, or 4? Choose the choice here. Wait, I don't want to get DMCA. Yeah. Two, one. Your phone died the only one that lasts long? Oh no. That's right! <gasps> Chat, we got it right! <gasps> The applause. Poor pop. Oh. This time I left the remote on. Oh, nice. Okay. Next question. Okay. Another poll. Uh, feather, night vision goggles, or a slam dunk? Okay, so one, one. So feather. We got all right, chat. We need the applause again. We got it right. We need some applause. Oh. Okay, next question. Question three. Okay, so we'll get a poll up. Someone will. Three is the clear winner here. Spork, which is clearly the most superior eating utensil that ever exists, which is correct. So we need some applause. Um. Okay, another question. Fourth question. Oh no. <laughs> well, Here's hard... your Valentine's themed question, everyone. This is a hard question. Uh, anything, as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat. A pancake that looks like a silly face. And it's a, a, a oligarchy sometimes as well. Yeah. Oh, it's one. Okay. I think it's for love. That's right! We got it right, gang! Okay. Oh, this is a very important question. It's a very important question. Five, five. <laughs> okay, so the answer- the question- uh, the answers are no. He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is best boy. Yes. Clearly. There's a clear answer to this one. I don't think we need a poll for this one. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly. Clearly. Let's rig it. Rig it. Rig it. Rig it. Rig it. That's right. We got it right. I know we just met. But I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Gasp. Hot diggity, pong pong the, po the fourth. You just heard some major Colonel Sanders points to that performance. Okay, so the R is separate. Okay. Uh, 